So as you can see, um, I've got a couple rose bushes here, big pumpkin bushes. There's another one over here, but uh, this is the good one. This is the better one, and it's just loaded with uh, rose hips at the moment. I've got other roses too, long stems and things like that. But what I've done is uh, I've already moved to the next project, <laughs> or well, part of the this is a, it's part of the wine project, I guess. So here's the rose hips. There's about two pounds there. Let's see enough to do uh, a gallon of wine. When I, I'm going to mix it with some of this, uh, this red crab apple, maybe some of the Ainsley uh, juice. So I'll make like an apple rose hip wine. This is the juice that I've processed. It's four and a half gallons or so. Uh, I was hoping to get more, about five, five and a half gallons is what I wa was expecting. But, um, some of the apples pr produce more juice than others, uh, so I didn't get exactly what I, what the standard is. I mean, the rule of thumb is one pound of apples equals one cup of juice, and some of this, uh, the crab apple and uh, the Ainsley produced quite well. They were pretty much on par, with uh, one pound equaling one cup. The crab apple south on the far right there actually produced more cups than poundage, which I was quite surprised with. Same with the kings; they are very a lot of juice in those, and the max were uh, the least productive. So that just helps me to understand how much work I'm going, I'm putting into, and how much juice I'm going to get out of each apple, and it gives me kind of a you know, a baseline to know uh, where to put my energies. So the crab apples, this is the first year that I've done that. There's a one on the far ends. So those ones and these ones. These ones, the deer were eating like crazy. So I had to get out there and pick them quickly. And there are just these tiny little apples. I didn't actually video them because too much going on at the moment, but amazing little apples, like just hard to explain, but you can see the kind of pink hue of the juice. So that's exactly what they kind of look like, kind of like this yellowy shade and this pink shade combined. They were like very beautiful. Anyway. So yeah, uh, apple juice is done. The next thing would be getting some rose hips. Basically, I'm just going to pour boiling water over them. Uh, clean them up first, obviously, but uh, you just pour boiling water over them as you uh, put them in your primary, and then that way they, uh, the flavors from them, and the, they're full of vitamins too, so that leech, all leaches off into the water that creates your wonderful wine down the road.